This video will show you how to easily implement an Alpha Lysa Surefire Ultra Assay. It eliminates the need for laborious techniques such as Western blotting or ELISA and has a lot of other advantages, including no wash steps, high sensitivity, good signal noise window, miniaturizable. Refer to the Surefire guide and get crucial information regarding cell stimulation optimization. How does it work? The acceptor bead is covalently conjugated to an antibody specific to a capsure peptide and binds the capsure peptide labeled antibody, which is specific to the target. The donor bead is covalently conjugated with streptavidin to capture the biotinylated antibody. In the phospho kits, one of the antibodies is specific to a phosphorylated epitope on the protein and the other antibody recognizes the target protein at a different location. In the total kits, both antibodies recognize the target protein independently of its phosphorylation status. In the presence of the targeted phosphorylated or total protein, the two antibodies bring the donor and acceptor beads in close proximity, allowing the alpha signal to happen. A multiplex version of this kit is available in which both total and phosphorylated proteins can be measured from the same well. In that case, two distinct alpha acceptor beads emitting at two different wavelengths report their binding to a distinct antigen through their association with specific assay antibodies. In this video, the p erc assay will be used as an example. For cell lysate generation, start by diluting the cell lysis buffer five times with water. To prepare the acceptor mix, start by diluting the activation buffer 25-fold and the acceptor beads 50-fold in combined reaction buffers 1 and 2. For the best results, the acceptor mix should be made and used within 30 minutes. Several plate types can be used for the immunoassay, depending on your needs. Revity 384-well white optiplates, the Revity 384-well white proxy plate, or the Revity 384 well light gray alpha plates that provide optimal alpha signals quality. Let's start your assay. If working with adherent cells, remove culture medium from the stimulated cells and replace it with one fold diluted lysis buffer. If working with suspension cells, just add five fold lysis buffer on top of the cultured cells. Make sure to put the plate on a plate shaker for 10 minutes at room temperature. Transfer 10 microliters of the cell lysate to the immunoassay plate. Don't forget to make control wells. First reconstitute the positive control lysate with 250 microliters of water and then dilute it with one fold lysis buffer as required. Then add 10 microliters of diluted positive control lysate to the microplate. To start the immunoassay, add 5 microliters of acceptor mix on top of the cell lysate. Seal the plate and incubate for at least one hour at room temperature. During this incubation, prepare the donor mix. Make sure to protect the donor beads from light or handle them in a green light environment. Dilute donor beads 50-fold in dilution buffer. For best results, the donor mix should be made and used within 30 minutes. Then add five microliters of donor mix Seal the plate and incubate at least one hour at room temperature. You can now read the plate. To detect the alpha signal from the plate, use a reader with alpha capabilities, such as Revity's readers Victor Nevo, Ensight, or Envision. Protocol setup is easy and you get high quality results in no time. Remove the seal from the plate before reading the plate, or if Perkin Elmer Top Seal A Plus is used, then the alpha signal can be read with the seal still on the plate. 
Check the signal of the positive and negative control wells. The signal from phosphorylation assays is typically analyzed relative to your own controls. Congratulations! You have successfully implemented an Alpha Lysa Surefire Ultra Assay. If you need more information, please visit our website or contact your local representative.